Good evening, good evening. Welcome to St Mary's Dartington, where we've been invited to celebrate Compline from tonight. And in the background you can see we've got the Advent candles beautifully, um, the wreath beautifully created by Anthea. So thank you, Anthea, for that. The words should be on your screen and I'll be scrolling up as we go through the service. So please do join me for the words in bold. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who, who made, made heaven, heaven and, and earth. earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, o Lord, make, make haste, haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. And so we come to our psalm. And tonight we're using Psalm 143. I'll say the odd verses. And if you have it in, well, you have the words in front of you, if, if you're able or want to, do join me in the even verses. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past, I muse upon all your deeds, I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you, my soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O Lord, make haste to answer me, my spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For truly, I am your servant. Glory to the Father oh, and, and to the Son, Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Tonight's scripture reading is Mark from Mark chapter 13. Keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. 
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. A Gospel Canticle, the Nunc Dimittis. Come, Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. And for our prayers this evening, we're using um, a practice that St Ignatius used, and it's particularly suitable for the end of a day, for a time of reflection. Ignatius referred to it as um, the examen, and looking for times, really asking God and we'll ask God now to help us as we reflect on the day, looking for times as for what Ignatius termed consolation and desolation. But really, we'll look at two questions and that will clarify really what, what it is. And so we pray that God... By your Holy Spirit, you reveal these things to us now as we take time to reflect on the day in your presence. So the first thought is, for what moment today am I most grateful? We give thanks to God. For that which, Lord, you are bringing to mind. And in terms of moments of desolation, as Ignatius called it, we ask God to help us see what moment today, or what moments, do we feel least grateful for, or were particularly difficult.
And we pray, Lord, for your healing, for your guidance. We pray that you make us more like you. And we pray for your health and your wholeness. As we prepare for sleep, giving thanks for another day of our short lives here on earth. I'm praying particularly just now as we're recording for the emergency services going to a situation that perhaps they don't know what they're going into. We give you thanks. And so continuing our preparation at the end of the day. May you guide us. and give us your peace. Visit this place, O oh Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. And may your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For, For you alone, Lord, Lord make, make us dwell in safety. safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the, the night, night is at hand and, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so, so do we, we look, look for, for you, O Christ. Christ. Restore us again, O God of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Bless us this night and always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace.